What is science? How does research work? Well, for me, as a statistician, research can always be divided into three major steps. The first step is the experiment, where we collect some data. Think about a group of people with a certain disease where half of them takes one drug and the other half takes another drug. And the question we're asking is, which drug is better? This is step one. Then comes step two. And in step two, we try to approximate our experiment, so the real world, with some very precise mathematics. So we build a statistical model how we think this data arises. And this is the point where the real work of a statistician starts. Because now we can derive within this model precise mathematical conclusions. And these conclusions can then be transferred back to our experiment, and we can answer, for instance, the question that drug one is better than drug two. So I, as a statistician, also work on a specific statistical model. But I'm not going to tell you about all the mathematics. I'm going to tell you about step one, why this model is so important. So imagine you've got a tumor. For instance, this purple guy here, a really bad guy. And in genetics, this means that you have a bunch of cells in your body with some really bad mutations, like copy number variations. And of course, we want to fight this tumor. But what is the most important thing if you want to fight something? Well, the most important thing is that you know whom you are fighting. You need to know exactly how this guy looks like, what are its mutations? I can tell you that this is already a difficult task. If you look at sequencing data, it's not that easy to find out what are mutations of a tumor. But unfortunately, it's getting even more complicated. Because when a tumor grows older, we do not only have one type of tumor cells, we have a few different types, so-called clones. So, for instance, there's also this blue guy here, another really bad guy, but with different mutations. And when we use techniques like whole genome sequencing to measure these mutations, then everything gets mixed up. The blue guy and the purple guy, they overlap. And this describes precisely the statistical model I'm working on. And we did actually develop a method which can separate the mutations of the different clones into the single components so that we know very well how these guys look like. And this can put us in a good position to fight a tumor. 